we have seen D'Angelo Russell's ice in my veins celebration after he makes big shots. He sure does. Fantastic, David. Thank you. Here's the starting group for the Charlotte Hornets. Zach Levine is out there with Ball. Then it's Elijah Wan. Then it's Tatum. And it's Young in at the small forward position. They've got Miracle Man. Cowboy is out there with money. And there's the monster. And it's Leonard in at the two-guard spot. But we've seen some head coaching changes, Greg. We're early in the season. How long does it take to fully implement, do you think, a, a new system with a new coach? You know, it's a tough question, Kevin. It really can, can depend on how difficult or complicated the system is. But all things being equal, the, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. No good. Not a friendly room at all this trip down. Oh, what a finish! Good. Throws down the alley-oop slam. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know... Get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Wilson, he's checked in for money. Wilson, the pass to the monster. Second chance effort. And the rejection by Tatum. The monster. Wilson, the pass to the monster. Shot clock at five. Goes up with it again. It's rebounded by Charlotte. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. You know, those road games are tricky, but, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, you know, game balls all around in that one. A terrific team effort. They trusted in their system and executed well to get the win. I like the fact he had his head up immediately looking to make the dish down the floor. Get rid of it quickly. Ball kicks to Tatum. Young trying to break free, and Tatum with the basket on the assist by Ball. Boy, the fifth time's the charm. That's a big basket there. To the paint. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. The pass to Elijah Wan. Gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Got a piece of it. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Levine. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. That's tipped. Here's Miracle Man, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stop. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. And now the first time I've called here for the Hornets. Yeah, this is a great rivalry, guys. I mean, even though they're in opposite conferences, you look back and these teams have a lot of history. They really do. I mean, whenever they play each other, it means a little bit extra. These are two franchises, as you said, that um, certainly have had their fair share of tangles in the pack. Now, here's Ball. He had 25 points in the win against Phoenix. And equally spent as much energy on his D. I mean, four steals kind of tell the story. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Oh, great ball movement there. Well, free throw drops for Leonard. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Russell passes to Tatum. 
Tatum on the wing. Looking to end the run. Wilson with the block. And they'll keep possession. They recover it. They on the clock. Locks it again. And now here comes Wilson leading the break. Wilson. Nice persistence to tip it back up and in. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Quality looks they're getting and they're capitalizing on. start offense and some changes here for the Hornets Hayes he's checked in for Elijah and it's Josh Hart in for Levine and the Hornets call time here and the lack of rim protection top of the list yeah you know just look at the numbers guys I mean they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint now here's Tatum against Phoenix he was really on his game They'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Here's Rain Man. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. Yeah, they're scoring with confidence, making them count in the early going here. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Greg, I know you've played for some great coaches in your day. What is it that separates the truly elite coaches, in your opinion, from just coaches that are pretty good? I think the one attribute that's most important for a great coach is consistency. And, and I've said this, you can, you can coach a lot of different ways, you can win a lot of different ways, but you've gotta be sincere and true to your principles and, and your philosophy. And those are the coaches, and I've had them that have done it different ways. Oh, oh the power on that through them. Guys, we had to take flight to get to this game tonight, but here's a guy who simply takes flight and flies at will on the basketball court. I mean, it's pretty surreal to watch a guy who can elevate to that level. Pass to Russell, and they double up Russell. And a bit of a battle here jump for the ball. ball. The field, official field, field. signals a jump ball players. here. So it's the Hornets now. Just five to shoot. Out to the right wing. Hickman. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Exactly what you want from your point guard. Nice dime to the open teammate by Russell. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Jason Tatum. And he knocks down the first one. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 109 left in the first. Poked away. Here's the break. Here's Rain Man. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. Outside Tatum. From deep. No good. He's off to a slow start. One for four so far. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. And the Hornets making a change here. Hill's checked in. Hill. We've got 33 seconds left to play here in the first. And I love the way he uses his size there to make sure he gets that goal. Excellent all-around performance so far. 
hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Outside Tatum. Out to Russell. Down to five on the shot clock. He gets it in there. They opened the gates, and he came through. D'Angelo, quick recognition. With four seconds on the clock, and he takes that one up and powers it through. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. And so it's the home team cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Recently, D'Angelo Russell, Greg, told us about some off-season work he put in. Man, I picked a lot of people's brains. You know, going into the summer, a lot of guys that have made that jump paved the way for us, a lot of older guys. And, um, you know, the, the, the answer that they were giving me was figuring out that routine that your body needs, that your mind needs to um, prepare for each game. Greg doing what he can do to reach that immense potential. You know, the talent is there. There's never been a question about that, but you also have to be reliable and accountable, both to yourself and to your team. Sounds like that's becoming his focus. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? aggressive at running guys to the backboard you could tell it was part of their game plan coming in yeah and you know when a team establishes an edge on the glass early it really sets things up for the rest of the game and a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter they've got rain man ABC is out there with the professor and there's money and it's thunder in at the point and they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. He feeds it to Hill. Here's Gary, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And, and slams it home and gets some camera time on the end of it. He did. He, he spent a while up in that rim, didn't he? The refs are much more lenient with that kind of situation than they used to be. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And what a time. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. And as the receiver, he doesn't feel the need to go for the monster finish that time. I mean, laying it up for the two points worked out just fine. Some changes for Charlotte. Elijah Wan's checked in for Jackson Hayes. Zach Levine comes in for Josh Hart. And Ball subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. Great open look there. Well, you see the confidence growing in Levine. It's palpable. Each year, he takes another step toward being a better, more efficient scorer. Just playing with poise and confidence, and they continue to put points on the board. Well, I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality shots, not wasting possessions. Here's Elijah one. Can't hit from 12. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their play. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Boy, both ends of that play, guys, were fantastic. Drains it from beyond the arc. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. The edge on the glass is the difference. Oh! oh. Mm, mm, mm. My goodness. 
Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. To end the run, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And good execution by Levine with the pass. I mean, showing improved leadership skills there. They get it back. Miracle man. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. And the miracle man is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Flattening the lottery odds, Greg. Do you think that's worked out as intended? You don't hear as many predictions about who's going to get the one pick or the second pick. I think that's good for the players and, and the fans. You don't want anyone rooting for you to lose. No, absolutely not. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, and the Hornets miss again. It has been wild, 76%. That's just unbelievable. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. That really has been the difference. I mean, they've been the better team in transition. Tatum drives in. That one off the back iron and out. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. And that's going to be a treble. The Hornets have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. Now, here's ball. Defense is right there. To the inside. And Tatum with the basket on the assist by ball. Tatum's got five. Tatum doesn't just make J's now. He's a complete offensive player, a lethal score. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and power. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows... are going to pain them even more. The Hornets shooting their first free throws of the game. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. You know, you look at Levine's game, and we all know he can score the ball, but he rebounds it well and passes on better than average. This guy is really an outstanding all-around player. Looking at who's out there now for the Hornets, Hayes comes in for Elijah Wan. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for ball. Pass to the professor. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. At the line, number 35. Two shots. First one falls for him. Hard, he's checked in for Levine. So he gets them both. There's 48 seconds left to play here in the half. Pass to Hart. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. You know, getting inside and doing damage there really elevates Hart's game, and I like to see him be that kind of all-around threat. And he makes that one. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Russell. Good. Nice job down low. Russell's got his second bucket of the game to go. And, you know, you look at the floater. It's an effective shot for Russell. But when he doesn't want to go all the way to the rack, you got to have that in your book bag. 
they're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to... Oh! And guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yeah. that's for sure. Yes, indeed. Let's just call him Ladder Climber. And so it's the home team able to put on a show for the agents from the field. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Taking a look at this home squad, Kenny, what's your viewpoint? Well, they were completely in rhythm shooting the basketball. Just watching the flow of their offense, everything clicked into place. Fantastic shot selection. They took advantage of everything the defense gave them. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Charlotte. Well, the big issue to address, Ernie, is their rebounding. They got low energy, low effort on the glass. Unless they go out there with a whole different attitude, the final score could look like Kenny. U-G-L-Y. He ain't got no alibi. He's ugly. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. with the second half upon us. We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Setting the floor for the Hornets. We've got Nick Young. Elijah Wan is out there with Jason Tatum. Then it's Zach Levine, and it's Ball in at the point. A floater. Count it. Ball's got his first bucket of the night. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. Yeah, just a simple one-hand flush. I think he got a few more inches on his vertical by going with the spike. Yeah, I agree with you. That's what it looked like to me. I mean, he was way up there. Nick Young on the wing. Elijah Wan trying to break free. And Tatum with the basket on the assist from Young. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option when... Ever they need one. Greg, you really began to emerge and got on the national scene at UNLV, but you started your college career at Portland where you were actually named the conference freshman of the year. Uh, yeah, how about I actually averaged more points in Portland than in any season I played at Vegas. Totally different roles, but Portland's always going to have a, a sweet spot in my heart. My first child was born in the great city of Portland. The Hornets shooting about 33%, not happy with their play on that end. And it's Ball penetrating. Yep, that one goes. Ball's got four points now in the quarter. On a nice little roll here to start this half, connecting on their first three attempts. Leonard, no luck. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. They start a three-game homestand with that game. And there's nothing Young likes more than to be set up for his sweet jump shot. Here's Gary. He can't hit that time. Excellent D there from Ball. With a floater, and it's laid up and in by Young. Young's got five points so far. Wow, five straight points. It's coming out of half. They are rolling. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment that's his killer instinct just fanning the flame yeah i love the fact he doesn't play the score he just keeps coming attack mode he doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal miracle man he's checked in for thunder and so now a timeout called by jason kidd uh, 
adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. free throw good from Leonard here's ball he kicks to Levine it's young on the wing baseline Jay on the way rebound by Tyler on two of four here to start the second half here's Leonard and it's Leonard with the jam Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Stolen by Wilson. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Oh, how about using the rim to get some true hang time? You know, he just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than the takeoff. Yeah, right. I don't know how much weight that carries. Yes, that goes in gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Here's Tyler. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Ball, the pass to Levine. Here's the teardrop. Rebound by Tyler. Tyler's got six rebounds now in the game. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, it's a misnomer that in the era of three-point shooting, people don't want anyone to take mid-range shots. Many of the league's elite players still thrive there. Why Leonard is one, and he explained how. He said it's hard to defend guys that shoot two. Once you get to the playoff, it becomes a half court game. Teams won't allow you to take wide open shots or threes. Guys, back to you. DA, thank you. And as we're reaching the end of the calendar year, here's a great chance to delve into the updated power rankings. Taking a look at the Hornets. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. Well, seeing where this home team is right now, they're just so locked in right now. It doesn't matter who they're playing. I know it's still early in the season, but they may turn out to be the team to beat. Young looking around. Ball's knocked loose. And here comes Leonard leading the fast break. And he bangs it home with one hand. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his points, and he's producing. Here's Hart. Outside, Russell. Can they get it? Shot clock at six. And the slam dunk by Russell. Excelling in the pick and roll back at the Ohio State University. Russell bringing that skill along with him to the NBA. That skill travels well. Straight rim rocker. It looked like a Greg for a second, like he might rip the cylinder loose. <laughs> now that is some real industrial size strength right there. On its way from Young for two. Rebound by Tyler. Tyler's got rebound number eight now on the night. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Here's Miracle Man. Boom, he jams it straight down. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Well, and that's exactly how the game is played in the paint inside, guys. I mean, if you can play over the top, I think you've got a big advantage. Hayes, he's checked in for the Hornets. 55 seconds left in the third. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. 
Leonard the pass to the monster. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration too. Now here is Russell. He's guarded closely. High arcing shot and Nick Young the bucket on the assist by Russell. Russell's got his third assist on the night. One second separate in the shot clock and game clock. An incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Memorable. Keep that one in the career highlight reel for sure. Russell looking around. And the layup is good. Russell's got eight. Boy, you look at Russell repeatedly making plays around the rim. His imagination and creativity allow him to do so. Yet another bucket in close. That's how he's earning his point today. Unable to get that one. And so it's the home team with a huge lead at the break. Safe to say there's no catching them today. They've got a big advantage in the turnover stats because of their intense defense. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Cowboy is out there with the monster. Then there's the Miracle Man. Then it's Magician. And it's Leonard in at the shooting guard position. Here's Hayes. It's deflected, and he gets it back. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Hayes has got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for Charlotte. Here's Miracle Man, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And how much do you love to see a guy with the skill and the nerve to pull off that reverse? Well, you know, Greg, if it was any other player, it might be surprising, but he is just so good. Guys, I tell you what, he's definitely one of the few guys with that move. And then Leonard with the dunk. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Outside, Russell. There's the feed to Muscala. Hayes trying to break free. Muscala hits the bucket. And they've really gotten on track here in the second half. After that shaky start, the field goal percentage steadily climbing. They couldn't make anything in that first break. Here he comes, and there he goes. Oh, look at him punish that rim. Boy, the guys on the bench loving every minute of that one. The pass to Hart. Clark, we know guys like LeBron and Michael Jordan will look for any perceived slight as a form of motivation. Was that something that you ever did as a player? You know, Kevin, I really didn't go down that road. Now, had I played longer at the NBA level, I had a very short NBA career. Maybe I would have approached it that way. If there was a slight or if there was a player that gave you trouble and you needed to get back at him in some way, sure, you'd be motivated by that. But I don't know if I was hunting for bulletin board material. I sought to be intrinsically or self-motivated from the inside the as opposed Mind to looking for outside influences to move me forward. to go between now and the three-point contest but it's always fun to talk about it let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event and maybe this list changes between What's now up? and all-star weekend but i don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now 
You look at Tatum. There are a few players ahead of him in the voting, but if he holds on to his spot at number five on that list, he'll have a place in the three-point contest waiting for him. And if anything, I bet he moves up the list. I, I mean, how could you not have this fella taking part in this contest? He'll be there. And we'll keep you posted as we find out more and as we get closer to the three-point contest once we have our final list of official contestants. Yeah, it's going to be very competitive. That, that's the one thing we all know. We, we've got an incredible group of long-distance shooters in this league right now. Ball dishes to Hayes. And the foul on the monster. That's his third foul of the game. And Clark, because of COVID, the timeline for this season has been altered. Are you ready for more summer basketball? Man, I tell you what, Kevin, I'm not sure. I've always been a proponent of the season being shorter at the NBA level. I know it's impossible. The toothpaste is out of the tube in terms of obligations on the media front. But I think the league would be better served starting a little bit later, ending sooner. If summer basketball has to happen at the NBA level, I, I would hope it's the last time we have to do deep summer basketball. I think it's more of a winter sport that trickles into the late spring versus being a summer game at the pro level. Gone a perfect 4-4 four four to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second-chance opportunities can be game-changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. The 10-footer. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Hill, he's checked in for the Hornets. Sendarius Thornwell comes in for Harris. Well, the Hornets shooting 57% in this fourth quarter. Ball from long range. Wilson grabs the board. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Uh, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. Without question, a crowd pleaser to the 10th degree. And here is Ball. Teardrop shot. It's deflected. Miracle Man, and he slams it one-handed. Man, he's got a lot of firepower right now. I mean, what a half he's having. Number one. Charlotte shooting not great, 40% for the game. Outside, ball. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Got a piece of it. And here we go. The finish. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with force. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Out to the right wing. Here's Hart. And he uses the glass on the layup. And that's right where they wanted to go with the ball in rhythm. Miracle Man, the pass to Tyler. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Yeah, highly efficient. Nothing extra special there. Just effective. Pass the ball. Looking to end his cold spell. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. And the lack of effort to fight over. Oh, oh, that was a goodness. strong dunk. Oh. Wow. We are going to remember that one oh. for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. A circus dunk for you right there, guys. Passes to Leonard. Here's Tyler. Count it. And he's now 8 of 9 from the floor. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you.
got to get in there and get tough. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it. But certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. So he can't get either to fall. Leonard attacking, and then Leonard with the dunk. Well, I'd say that shot is well within his range. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> yeah, and especially when he caps it off with the steady one-hand jam. Oh, oh, no. He's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. You know, Hart helped Villanova win its second championship in school history. He was instrumental in that great championship run the Wildcats had back in 2016. Whoa, that'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. No question about it. He's very comfortable in the air. Dunks like that, no problem for him. He's off on the first. And the second free throw, good. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. And how about just floating to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. Yes, he does. That's what we call helium. Yeast rising and helium floating. And he makes both free throws. 111 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Miracle Man, and he dunks it down. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Yeah, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Yeah, to glide in and reverse it home like that, so sweet. That one is off. And he sinks the second. 106 left in the fourth quarter. Oh, fantastic dunk. And, and he hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly. Who knows? But there he is, and we see it very clearly. Either that, guys, or he wanted the photographers to get a good shot of him. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. And the home team has possession. Here's Miracle Man. Connects again. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. And he commits the intentional foul. And so now a timeout called by Jason Kidd. At the line for the Hornets. Josh Hart. At the line for the
a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Miracle Man. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all Take a break. by itself. Take a break. There wasn't Time anything out. he Time couldn't out. do on Start that it. court tonight. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. And so now a timeout called by Jason Kidd. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. to the middle. Here's Tyler. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. And, and guys, at this point, just a side note, they, they've got this one sewn up. He's probably headed to the bench one way or the other. ABC's checked in for Tyler. Here's Miracle Man, yet another bucket. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Oh. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Number six. That's his first, throw. first free throw is good. At the line of the Hornets, Sierra is He's perfect from the line this time. And stolen by Harris. Trains it from nine feet away. And you can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. They waited too long to finally ramp themselves up. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. And Joe Harris, the lethal shooter, he can also be a threat in the pick and roll game. Yeah, Harris does a great job reading what a defense is giving. He's more than just a catch and shoot type of player. Harris can hit shots on the move and isn't afraid to go at defenders. And that's just cold blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. The professors checked in for the monster. Both shots good from the stripe. We've got 33 seconds. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. Watch out. My goodness. That was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Boy, I'd love to get a replay on that one. Let's keep it handy so we can see it again. He's off on the second. Here's Miracle Man, and that one is stuffed right through. i tell you what, you've got to build a wall around the bucket to keep this man from attacking. And, Greg, even then, he might just go over it. Check out the elevation <laughs> he gets here. My goodness. Boy, I can't get enough of that, guys. I mean, he is a true rim wrecker. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Here's Miracle Man. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And that's his M.O. Sometimes he can score more points by himself than the rest of the team. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And now we've got the intentional foul. No good on that one. He hits the second from the line. Here's Miracle Man. Goes up off the inbound. Another one goes. Incredible. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A, a remarkable performance from him so far. That free throw, no good. So he comes up empty at the line. And there's the pass to Miracle Man. Here's the professor. Buries it down low. Number one. And an intentional foul right there. Number one. And the first one at the line is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 
Here's Miracle Man. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Yeah, it doesn't get any better than that on the inbounds play. Exactly the way they drew it up. And so they foul intentionally. First free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Miracle Man. Can't hit from in close. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control operating flawlessly. And the other just searching for answers that they could never find. Having the energy here is just...